بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أي الله بتي في الله It's important to stick with the terms that are used from the Sharia. Those terms which come from Kitab Allah wa Sunnat Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that were terms used by the Salaf of this Ummah and terms that are used by the Ulama, the Ulama of Ahl Sunnah. And something I wanted to highlight as there is a lot of attacks upon Salafis, Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, and many people are afraid of the term Salafiyah or Salafi. And first and foremost, we have to know that Salafiyah refers to, it's an inscription to the madhab or minhaj of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. It is an inscription to the Salaf of this Ummah. And the, and the Salaf, meaning the first three generations, as the Prophet ﷺ said, The Prophet ﷺ said, The best generation is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. That makes up the Salaf. It, it, it includes... At the Rasihim, ala Rasihim, is the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, majma'een. And then the second generation referring to the Tabi'een, those people who met Sahaba and as Muslims and died as Muslims, and they were people of, uh, of Khair. And they followed the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala majma'een. And the third generation being the Itba'a Tabi'een, those people who followed the Tabi'een, met Tabi'een, met a Tabi'i, and died upon Islam. And so on and so forth. So what we find today, due to sometimes bad manners, sometimes to extremism and mistakes, especially amongst the du'at, those people who call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we've had those who've made mistakes and called to themselves, or called to their group or their clique, and due to this, some of the people begin to call them Salafiya Jadida, and they gave a bad name to Salafiya. These individuals falling into extremism, because the Prophet ﷺ said, "Iyakum wa ghulu." He said, "Wa ghulu fi din." Beware of extremism in the religion, and that means extremism regarding all aspects of the religion, whether it be extremism in criticizing individuals, criticizing uh, extremism in praising individuals, extremism in worshiping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala going outside the bounds of the sharia it means to be to be excessive to go outside the bounds of the sharia so it could be for example we have the extremists like the extremist groups like IS or ISIS and uh, Boko Haram in Nigeria and Al Shabab in uh, Somalia that these people have went beyond the bounds of the religion of Islam with their extremism, with extremism in killing and an extremist ideology that allows for a person to blow themselves up and cut the heads off of, of, of any and everyone and to kill everything that lives and moves and whether it moves or not. This is extremism. So extremism is madhmoom. It's not permissible in Islam. It's something that's sinful. And it can be extremism in bid'ah. 
And with this Ahabat fillah we have people now who refer to uh, the Salafis and, and, and Ahl Sunnah as Salafi Jadida or Neo Salafis. And Madkhaliya uh, or Mudakhala in Arabic, they say. Or the Jamia, referring to uh, Sheikh uh, Muhammad Amana Jami, and all these other terms. These are not Sharia based terms. And these terms, those people who use these terms are usually from Ahl Bidah. Almost always they're from the Hizbiyun. And if some of the people are dissatisfied with what they've seen from some Salafis, they should not refer that to the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah. They should not ascribe that to Salafiyyah. Because people who are extreme in Jarwa Ta'deel or extreme in criticizing individuals and, and making tabdi of individuals or making takfir of individuals, you know, declaring people to be non-Muslim, declaring people to be innovators and all this extremism does not re represent Islam and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, nor does it represent Salafiyyah. And that's the point. That's why you should be caution. You should be cautious because I've heard it countless times from some of our brothers believing that they're attacking uh, because they have personal issues or whatever the issues with some of the brothers or they've seen mistakes from some of their brothers and they ascribe that to the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah, to, to Salafiyyah. But this is incorrect. This is incorrect to ascribe it to the Madhab. Likewise, what we see the evil that many Muslims do because we see a Muslim drinking, because we see a Muslim committing adultery, because we see a Muslim soliciting prostitutes, because we see a Muslim being a prostitute, because we see a Muslim selling crack, smoking crack, whatever, we cannot ascribe that to Islam. That has nothing to do with Islam and Muslims. That means some Muslims do those sins. But that does not reflect on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen, although they are supposed to be representing Allah's deen. So I hope that's clear, that analogy, because it's imperative, because we have so many people who attack Ahl Sunnah in this day and age and have a misunderstanding about Salafiyyah. Even people who at once maybe ascribe themselves to Salafiyyah. And a classic example is Yasser Qadi, because what you see in his attacks, and if you read extensively, especially in his paper entitled uh, On Salafi Islam, you see that he misunderstood many things. Many things he misunderstood and he referred to different types of Salafiyyah. And he as ascribes that those people, he took the same mustalahat, the same terminologies and classifications as disbelieving think tanks. As those people who are supposed to be scholars on Islam in the West, in, the, in, in places from everywhere from, uh, from the America to the UK to Germany and wherever they have so-called Islamic specialists, specialists Yasir Qadi used their very same classifications, attacking Ahl Sunnah, attacking the Salafi Dawah, and at the same time saying he has Athari creed. So the point is, Ahabat Fillah, is beware of newly in innovated matters, because verily every innovation leads astray, and every leading astray leads you to the hellfire. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم